Hold Fast Marines videos are sponsored by me. I pay the bills. Thank you. Hi everybody, Will from Hold Fast Marine, your local boat shop. Uh, so today, um, we're gonna be doing another series. Um, rebuilding, well, rebuilding, or making better the transom of this red, kind of 70s swoopy style boat. Don't even know what the hell it is. Uh, but we're gonna be redoing the transom. And uh, we're gonna take some time and show you what we've already done. And then today, we're gonna fill in some pretty big holes. So that's coming right up. All right, guys, so here's the boat as it sits. This is the transom. And what was on here was probably the worst fiberglassing job I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, it was bad. I was actually able to peel the repair off in one full sheet. Yeah, so what I've gone ahead and done is sanded this all down with uh, uh, 60 grit. And then a couple of days ago, um, before I left the shop, I went ahead and I filled in. There's some pretty big cracking up in here. And that actually required that I pulled the, the core was fairly dry. Uh, it wasn't like as dry as I'd like it to be, but this is what it is. And the customer doesn't have much money to redo the whole thing. So what I did was we ended up peeling away uh, the, tran or the fiberglass from the core and then adding in a bunch of um, thickened epoxy and then closed that back up. And then we uh, countersunk a bunch of stainless steel screws into where it was separated and the same thing down through the top of the transom. Um, so then after uh, that got, you know, tacky, went ahead and we ran thickened epoxy through all the cracks. There's quite a few cracks up here. There's one right there. Um, and then filled in all the screw holes um, as well as a couple other holes that do nothing. There's a couple over here that had a, uh, a sounding unit on it. So we filled that in. Um, little things like this, like I'm not too worried about that because we have to drill all those holes back out um, for drains. But what we're gonna be doing today is working on these areas right here where that's pretty bad. And it goes all the way through, all the way up to about there. Um, but before I do that, um, I want to hit these areas. I want to sand them down flush. Same on both sides. I'll probably use uh, some 100 grit um, just to smooth it down a bit because um, there's some pretty good ridges in the epoxy um, because I was trying to get it done before we had a thunderstorm. Yeah, so, yeah, so then we'll go ahead and we will um, glass these in from the back first and then... Uh, and then from the front, and I'm really, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to that because I have to crawl myself underneath these areas to get in and uh, and sand all that down. So that'll be fun. Okay, so now that I've taken smoothed down the uh, the epoxy, I'm gonna go in and just feather this out a little bit, feather that down, you know, and in a little bit without wrecking my pad up too bad, and uh, so that I can have you know a little bit of extra room to lay some glass in there. Um, I'm not gonna do much glass because this is pretty strong, and I'm just gonna end up fairing the whole thing. Uh, flat, but I want to fill these holes and fill them in right because it's quite a bit of flex back here on the boat So we're gonna do that right now so I've run into a little bit of an issue here um, on the back side of these pieces. Oh, and I went ahead and sanded the other side down You guys don't need to see me do both. So Anyway, uh, so on the back side. So back here. Um, there is absolute on both sides There is no way for me to get any type of a sander uh, in there to sand down the really, you know, the really rough blown in uh, chop strand or strand matting or whatever the hell they used in there back in 1950 something. Um, 
So uh, that kind of sucks. Um, so I really need to come up with a way to do this so that it's going to work. And the only way that I can think to do that, well, not the only way, but I think that the way that uh, maybe is going to work out best is to clean back there with some of the total boat um, surface and and uh, dewaxer, surface prep and dewaxer, and then um, go in and place two pieces of, uh, you know, one or two pieces of 1708 um, kind of folded up you know, back there. But that also leads me to a problem if I can't access this side. So the, the uh, starboard side I can't access because of all the cables and the pulleys and wiring that goes through that. I can't actually get my hands up uh, behind there. Uh, on the port side, I could probably do that. So, I'm, I, I don't like um, the tape and epoxy method. I don't like that. I don't like just backing something with tape. It should be strong. Uh, it should always be at least uh, one piece of fiberglass. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really know. It's tricky to try and figure this kind of stuff out. Um, you always run into problems and issues and stuff like that, and every boat is unique. And, and uh, I'm really just thinking about this for the first time today. So we'll try and uh, we'll try and figure it out, but I'll come up with a solution. Alright, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and made up a, uh, a little paper template. Um, here it is to kind of cut my fiberglass to, uh, to put on the back side. To clean the back, I used uh, a, uh, a chip brush and an, uh, an acid brush with some of the Total Boat um, uh, surface prep on there. And I cleaned it as best as I could. It's actually pretty clean. We'll see. Um, and then I made this template to fit high. So, taking the 1708 will go on the back this it doesn't reach this little hole right here um, but that's okay because I'm gonna fill that in with some more uh, thickened epoxy because once I get this done I'm gonna go over just this area uh, with some thickened epoxy um, so I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna cut out two pieces like this and mix up some epoxy so a little, a little crooked but that's whatever who cares um, so we're gonna be using the total boat uh, epoxy resin, the five to one. And the reason uh, that I bought it is because I liked that they had the pump. One pump of resin and one pump of hardener gave you your mixture. But thanks to coronavirus, um, they're out of the pumps. So mixing five to one so five ounces to one ounce, where every single mixing cup is two, four, six, eight ounces, right? That's a total boat cup. This cup is, uh, you know, amazon -y cup, same thing. Two, four, six, eight, so on and so forth. However, I do have small one ounce increment cups. And I'm gonna put my gloves on here because I don't wanna get epoxy all over myself. So here's what I did the last time when I mixed up that batch on the, that's on the stern there. I used one ounce cups. So I mixed five ounces in one cup and one ounce in another cup and poured them together. But here's the thing. Look at what's left over. There is about an ounce of the uh, epoxy in this cup and just about under an ounce of hardener in the other cup. So what we're gonna try and do if you've ever used uh, paint cups to measure out paint, they have these one to one ratio, two to one, three to one, 
three to one to five percent or whatever, uh, four to one. And then over here is five to one to one. So in theory, because we're not doing five one one, we're just doing five to one. We could pour to the number two line with epoxy and then to the number two line with hardener. And that should work. Um, we'll find out. So that's kind of nice to have. Um, I wish that, you know, Total Boat makes their own cups. They should just have a five, make it one ounce increments all the way up. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see a big paint cup with one ounce marks. That would be really nice. Um, because I'm sure as all of you know, if you're only mixing up an ounce of polyester resin, it says 14 drops per ounce. It's a huge pain in the ass to go one, two, three, four, right? We want to use our, our mixer, our squeeze mixers. The frig knows where that is on there. You actually have to measure it all out. So anyway, that's my free tip to Jamestown. Make you guys a lot of money to sell that. Um, they did tell me that when they get in the uh, the uh, the pumps, that they will send me the pumps. So good on them. All right, so here we go. Let's mix this up. all right so well you guys didn't get to see a bunch of this stuff because well <laughs> it was uh it's pretty awful so we've got yeah it's hardening up pretty good so we've got that all this fiberglass in the back on and then a whoops and then a bunch of thickened epoxy on top of that and the same thing over here we got this fiberglass in there and some thickened epoxy on top of that so that's pretty good now i don't have any time to do it today because it's saturday and i'd much rather would go home and drink a few beers and mow my lawn in fact i don't want to mow the lawn but that's what i'm gonna do um so for this one in particular this is sticking out pretty far right here and if i try and sand that i'm just gonna sand right through the 1708 Oh, that's my fault. So, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is, uh, next time I film, I'm going to cut a piece out, you know, that fits, you know, something like that. And then we'll sand that down and then fare the whole back flush with the two patches that'll be there and there. Um, because if you look here, this white is the original uh, fairing compound. Um and I think it's polyester, but I'm not hundred percent sure. And that's why we're using epoxy. Um, everything on this boat, everything all the way down to the fiberglass has come from Jamestown distributors, total boat line, everything. I am doing this entire transom all with total boat products. And I think I may just be the first person to do that. Um, so, well, first person to film it and do it. Um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. So that's what we're going to be doing in future. We'll be, uh, uploading another, another video, um, with this boat, but, you know, I like this little boat. It's very stylish and kind of bat boat looking. So, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. So we'll, um... I'll see you guys next week for the next part in this series. We'll see you next time. So you made it through the entire video. Thank you. Comment down below. I watched it and you'll be entered to win a Hold Fast Marine t-shirt sent straight to you from me. Thank you. See you guys.